I'm Louise Beckett and welcome to Hero's Journey. Today we'll meet a hero in every sense of the word. A lady who has overcome personal heartbreak, stood up to prejudice and used her own influence to highlight the pain and suffering of others. To many, the name Asli Bayram is synonymous with winning Miss Germany in 2005. But Asli is anything but superficial. Behind this face of beauty lies a tale of determination and unequivocal hope that truly earns her a hero's journey. It was not nice when I was a child, not from the children, more from the teachers, like go back to Turkey. And that was the first time I realized I'm little, I'm something different. Wisst ihr, warum ich da bin heute? Also ich bin da, um euch ein paar Tipps zu geben, nicht nur gegen Rassismus, sondern auch gegen Diskriminierung und Mobbing, weil damit fängt ja schon alles an. Und today I can uh, laugh about my experience in school. When you are a child, it's very uh, serious. Fragen offen, dann können wir weiterreden. Oh, das ist jetzt kein erfreuliches Thema. Ähm, leider aber auch äh, ähm, wegen Rassismus. Born in Germany to Turkish heritage, Asli's childhood innocence was abruptly ended when she witnessed a drunken neighbor with neo-Nazi beliefs fatally shoot her father in the doorway of the family home. And that's what I try to t tell the children that they talk about it and that they, they are not shy to talk about it. Because once they stop doing something against it, uh, if they don't react on it, it will continue. As an actress, I always try to choose movies who have also a message. If you can combine these two, it's for me the perfect work uh, because it means for me something and I uh, do something with my time. And it's all about finding the truth. Uh, either you are a journalist or actress and I do it in this way. Asli's strength of character is inherited from her mother who resisted the pleas of relatives to leave Germany in the aftermath of her husband's murder. The actress's scars aren't psychological either. A gunshot scar in Asli's left arm is an indelible link to the day her life changed forever. I also wrote a book about it, um, Grenzgängerin, going between borders, but what I mean is that uh, we should not make ourselves borders. I'm sure people here always tapped into borders and that's what happened in Sarajevo too, how they uh, uh, surrounded it in three years. It was like isolated and uh, incredible is that it's, it was in the middle of Europe uh, just 15 years ago and so I think it's very important to remind and remind and it's never enough to tell stories about it. Very uh, uh, thankful that you take your time and share with me, with us, your experience of this horrible war. Invaded and made the massacre. Was, so they, uh, the loss of over 8,000 Bosnian Muslims to Serbian troops at Srebrenica in 1995 was described as the worst loss of life in Europe since World War II. At that time, it was really Srebrenica was hell where you just wait Serb soldier to kill you. We have to run, run in one direction. After 10 or 15 minutes, when it stops, I turn around and I don't, didn't see my father, I didn't see my brother. I was alone. It takes about six days, mm -hmm. six days to, to get on uh, free territory. On every blockade we lost maybe uh, 500 to 1,000 people. My brother also survived that. My father was killed. 
I see this all here and I also experience injustice. Sometimes you think, can I do something? Then I try again and maybe I can change a little bit. And uh, this makes me more motivated. The biggest religions, the world religions, they have so many common things. I wish these uh, things which connect should be more important than fight each other or cause for wars. Using her beliefs to guide her life and career, the Muslim girl who has modeled and won a national beauty pageant showed her true defiance to bridging religious divides with her controversial theater portrayal of the Jewish prisoner of war, Anne Frank. Ich bin nicht reich, ich bin nicht hübsch, nicht intelligent, nicht klug, aber ich bin und werde glücklich sein. Ich habe eine glückliche Natur, ich liebe die Menschen, bin nicht misstrauisch und will alle mit mir zusammen glücklich sehen. Asli's crowning as Miss Germany in 2005, the country's first ever winner from Turkish descent, was the catalyst for an acting career that has seen her become a regular face on stage and screen. Her fame has opened doors to enable her to actively promote tolerance and integration in multicultural society on a worldwide scale. Ich bin Asle Bayram, Botschafterin des Landespräventionsrates und ich begrüße Sie sehr herzlich. Today I uh, host this uh, event for uh, the award of the best prevention project. They support these projects of people who make projects without money. I think it's important to reward people who give their energy and time. Um, wie erleben Sie es? Sind das zahnlose Bemühungen? Ich finde, die Bemühungen sind ein bisschen zu spät in den Alltag geraten. Also es ist, äh, erst jetzt ist dieses Thema so äh, wichtig. Vorher, also wie lange sind denn jetzt schon, also die Türken in Deutschland, die sind jetzt schon 30 Jahre da. Man muss doch versuchen zu verbinden und nicht dauernd zu trennen. Und was jetzt passiert, finde ich, in Deutschland und auch in Österreich, dass, dass man Angst schafft und äh, nicht versucht, das Problem zu lösen, sondern dass da irgendwie so, so eine Hetze passiert und jeder hat dann Angst und man hat dann keine Lust mehr. Also man muss sich auch in gewisser Weise anpassen, man muss sich einander respektieren, äh, aber alle, also nicht nur die, die dann hier sind, sondern auch die Menschen hier müssen doch auch andere Kulturen respektieren. Asli Bayram doesn't consider herself a member of any single nation, simply as a citizen of the world. And although eager to change the future, she is equally as mindful to remember those who have suffered before. Dekade des 21. Jahrhunderts bitte ich im Namen meiner Generation um Verzeihung, dass wir noch kein wirksames Mittel gegen Rechtsradikale, Neonazis, Hassfanatiker und ihren politischen, Entschuldigung, und ihren politischen Nährboden gefunden haben. Wir müssen weiter danach suchen. Wir müssen. For Asli Bayram, the journey continues. I'm sure you'll agree that was one remarkable hero's journey. And with Asli Bayram's determination, I'm sure it's a story that is yet to reach its conclusion. That's all we've got time for today. Thank you for joining me, Louise Beckett, and I'll see you again soon for another hero's journey. Whew.